Hey everyone, it's Mackenzie here at Tuckaway Pines. Today I want to bring you guys outside and just kind of show you what we are up to today. Um, just a little uh, to-do list task, nothing crazy, but um, with all the snow, if you guys have been following along with us, all the snow we've gotten lately has really piled on, you know, and um, we're waiting for the big melt, but... Um, yeah, anyway, so we went out and we got a, um, essentially it's like a roof rake to like rake off or shovel off the snow off the roof, but from the ground so we don't have to go up there and risk any injury or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so essentially today's video is me showing you guys Corey doing all the heavy lifting. <laughs> He's uh, gonna be doing all the shoveling or the raking or whatever and um, yeah just kind of what we're up to on the homestead and I guess kind of like a little tip maybe a reminder if you haven't done it yet need to get out there and take that load off because um, um, yeah there's a lot maybe I don't know maybe about a foot of snow like accumulation over the roof and uh, it's a lot of weight, so we want to get that off so we don't have to risk any damage or anything. So, but yeah, I'll show you uh, how Corey does it. <laughs>
Well, that's pretty much that. Um, pretty uh, yeah, easy, straightforward. I know it wasn't really an exciting video, um, but it's kind of the reality of being here on the homestead, especially in the North Woods. We had all this snow. And, um, you know, we really need to, you know, keep up on things like this, especially in the wintertime, too. Like, just because, you know, things kind of slow down doesn't mean the work stops. So that's a little bit of a, you know, insight on the reality of it up here, at least for us. Um, just have to make sure all that weight, you know, kind of stays off the roof. We don't want any cave-ins. Um, it also kind of helps... Uh, with the shingles because we have a shingled roof um, it kind of helps with their longevity in the long run um, we do eventually want to switch over potentially to a metal roof we've been you know juggling that idea it's just a matter of time and you know saving up for it but but um anyway we at least got the uh, kind of uh, top layer of snow off and um, there is kind of like that icy layer beneath it but with that snow off, hopefully the sun can kind of cook it, you know, melt it away and stuff, um, and expose the shingle even further, and hopefully our gutters don't freeze. I was kind of thinking that during filming, um, gutters looking kind of full, so hopefully that melts too and just drains right out, um, otherwise we'll have to clean those out as well. But, um, so yeah, we got that all done, um, Corey did get to the back of the house which is actually a little bit easier due to the sun shining more on that side of the house preferably than the front side so there's that um but yeah so next is to get the snowblower out um we're gonna try and move a lot of the piles that you saw close to the house away from the house and then we'll just kind of plow it away towards a low spot that we have. Um, that way, when things do melt, it's not all melting towards the house. Hopefully, you know, to keep up. Not that we have flooding issues, but so that we don't have flooding issues. Um, so, yeah, all things to really think about and consider, especially if you guys are also starting out in a new place. This is our first winter here, so we're trying keyword trying to be as proactive and think ahead of all these potential issues problems you know trying to hindsight's 2020 so we're trying to be 2020 right now um but yeah so hope you guys enjoy please like comment and subscribe bye